Hey everybody, how's it going? So 2020 has been one large mess, but there are a few awesome takeaways from it, at least for me, and one of them I'd like to explain in this video. So on Reddit, there's a thread that made the front page, over 82,000 upvotes, very popular. What is clearly a scam, but is so normalized, people don't notice. And if you sort it by the top comments, here are the scams. Number one, I just paid for the privilege of setting up my router. Number two, is mobile game ads that show gameplay of Call of Duty or Skyrim game style, but in reality just a spinoff of Candy Crush, which introduced me to the absolutely beautiful subreddit of r slash f homescapes. The third one is rent to own furniture and appliances. And the fourth one, if you scroll down, is manufacturers refusing documentation to private repair enterprises and requiring you to get your products fixed by the dealer. Basically, the reason for the right to repair movement. One thing you'll notice if you click to view more of the many comments in this thread, virtually none of them are about the things that I'm discussing. They're not about specifics to laptop motherboard repair or cell phone repair. You have John Deere in agriculture. Someone else is talking about aviation. And when you scroll down further, they're talking about the Marine Corps and the military and all sorts of stuff that doesn't have to do with what I talk about. Now, why is this a win? Well, this is a win because when I first started talking about this stuff on this channel, around December of 2013, when I did that first video on ICE taking parts from repair shops, virtually nobody understood what right to repair was or that this was an issue in the electronics field. And seven years later, we're at a point where in a, just a general threat as to what is a scam amongst normal people, the fourth ranked item is manufacturers refusing documentation to private repair enterprises and requiring you to get your product fixed by the dealer, which means that right to repair has very close to reaching that kind of critical mass up there. And that's something that I would have never imagined being able to see if not for all of you. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who watches this stuff, who shares this stuff, who under who has listened to what I have to say, listened to my frustrations when I'm trying to do just the basics of being able to satisfy my customers, have gotten involved and listened and thought about it and said, you know what, this doesn't make sense. This, this seems unfair. This seems ridiculous and I don't like it. And I'm going to let people that I know know that this is an issue. Because without all of you, I would just be speaking into a void. But as a result of all of you watching, I went from the around 50 or 100 subscribers I had when I did that first 2013 video on uh, right to repair stuff to now being able to reach an audience of over 1.3 million people. And the results of, be, of all of you sharing this as an issue with people that you know, educating people that you know, explaining why things are expensive when you go to fix it or why options aren't there is the reason why in a, just a generalized thread, not asking for a bunch of tech savvy people to show up, just normal thread, the fourth top rated scam was the reasons for the right to repair movement existing, which is manufacturers not allowing people to fix their stuff. And this is something I never would have been able to accomplish without all of you watching and supporting and paying attention and following along as I'm doing my repairs and being willing to listen to what it is I talk about. So I just wanted to say thank you very much for that. And I hope in 2021 to get to a point where it's not just on a Reddit thread about what is a scam or a poll on a very popular website where this gets voted and brought up as one of the biggest scams. I want it to be something where even people that don't use Reddit or don't spend time online or who aren't tech savvy understand that this is an issue. And that's going to be what I'm doing work on over the next few years. You know, some of you have recommended that I start an organization that just does that rather than doing this as a hobby. And I have had people reach out to me who said, you know, I have real money and I like, what would you do if you had real money? And I am kind of exploring that as an option in 2021 and 2022. What would I do to get critical mass awareness out to many more people? And it's, you know, it's something that uh, I, I plan to focus on a lot in 2021. And I believe that once you get to a point where everybody understands this is an issue, it's really hard to not address it, whether it's at the legislative level, when people start getting elected to public office that actually care about right to repair, or at the cultural and manufacturing level, where people just decide, 
I'm not working at a company where people are are okay with making these crappy decisions, and I'm not going to make them anymore. That this is this is the long game, and this is something that's going to take a lot more time. It's not something that's going to be solved tomorrow or next week, maybe even next year. But we're closer, and the reason that we're closer is because of the amazing help that I've gotten from all of you. And when I say amazing help, I'm not talking about giving me money. I'm talking about you listen to what I have to say in the videos, you share it in your own life. When it comes time to fix something for someone you know, when you fix something for someone you know, you let them know, I was this close to not being able to do it, and here's why. You get it to become an issue in people's heads. And that's not a money thing. That's a caring thing. And... I wanted to make this video to just say how much I appreciate the fact that 1.35 million people uh, care enough to speak up about it as an issue and that you know that in spite of the fact that there's been very little progress made in the legislative arena and the arena of getting the general public to understand this is a problem, this is a gigantic win that five, six years ago I never would have dreamed of. So thank you very much and as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, bye now.